So I'm out there fishing for bass. And this little critter's just come along. He's a stunning little fish. <laughs> He's absolutely stunning. Let's try and get hold of him without getting the hook in me. And there he is with an imitation. I think it's an imitation. In fact, that's a black minnow. It's a black minnow. He's absolutely bristling. <laughs> I've got my hat on because I'm cold. I've got my big thermal suit on. <laughs> Freezing. But look at that. And he's actually warm. We're at the warm water outlet from a power station or a refinery or something. I'll give you a show in a minute. Just see if I can get this this lure out. Oh, that is in. I have to take the barbs off these. That's right in the corner of his mouth. And there's the lure. One more quick show. And there's the fish. <laughs> Let's get back in. Where he goes. Right, I need to get the cloth out, don't I? The only thing I didn't get is my cloth. So I'm out of my boat, and to guarantee a catch today, it's, it's coming for low tide, I've got to keep an eye on where we're at, we're at anchor, and we're just outside of the hot water outlet, and I'll give you a show in a minute, it's not a pretty place, but it's got a lot of fish in it, so let's have another go, see how we get on, have a look at my lure, that's all good, and what I'm actually using, the rod, is an Abu Garcia Black Max and a Black Max 40 reel. Tiny little spinning stuff. And I'm casting up tide, up tide from where the hot water outlet is. Oh, and I'm in. <laughs> I'm in already. This one's a little bit smaller than that last one, I think. Can't make a meal out of this one. This one's a bit weenier. But he's good fun nonetheless. Another little bass. There must be thousands of them here. And it's all because of the hot water. Calm down, calm down. The little ones tend to be the liveliest, don't they? They're the ones that really go for it. And again, beautifully hooked. Let's see if we can look. And that lure just fell out there. And that's a tiny weeny one. Nowhere near as big as the last one. <laughs> Let's get some more. And away he goes. None the worse. Okay. I'll give you a show of the law. It's like a black minnow, weedless. Just get my rod out of the way. Stick it behind your ear, Mark. It's a weedless lure. The hook tucks away. It's got like a jig head to it. Don't know what grams. It's only cheap online retailer type lure. Get some nice up tight again. What dragged me over to it is I could actually see the birds working. And there were birds all over this place about 20 minutes ago. Oh dear, I just had a cast and I didn't catch one. That was two for three casts. Let's see if we can get another one. I'm sorry if the sun's behind you, it's early morning. Oh, oh, got knocked then. Got knocked. Oh, <laughs> and he's just did it again. Let's go really slow, see if he'll have it. Yeah, he's dislodged the hook. I got hit twice. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another fish for you. For me, more like. Good fun. tend to know if you're going to get a bump. I love the action of this lure. It's a very cheap lure. I think it's like a pound or something. I've only got a short anchor. I'm only in about 10 feet of, road, uh, 10 feet of water. 10 feet of water. 30, 40 foot of anchor rope. Nothing else today. I caught 
two bass, two for two, my first two cats. I think they've gone back, I shouldn't have let them go, they've just gone back and told all their mates. Don't go anywhere over there. <laughs> A fish just followed that right to the surface. And when I say right to the surface, I should have just held it in the water. That was amazing. You're gonna to have to get you a different camera angle in a minute. That's gonna work. Let that drop. That's a fish, that's gotta be a fishy one that one. Got to be a fish there. And a rattle. <laughs> you can see them follow it up. <laughs> I think they're just following behind it, but they're not actually taking it. I think you've got to induce the take. I think you've got to make them compete for it. Oh, here we go. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> oh, and he went again. <laughs> and he's on it again. He come back at that three times. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one back. Wipe the seats down on a posh new butt. Keep everything tidy. Scrub, scrub, rub, rub. <laughs> this is too much fun. Too much fun. Schooly bass, but I think that first one was about three quarters of a pound. That's about the biggest, that's about the stamp of it, I think. And he's kippered my blooming my hook. It's not sitting right. There we go. Let's see if we can winkle a bigger one out. I'm going to change the lure up in a minute as well, just to see if that makes any difference. I want to practice with some different lures. In what looks like to be an aquarium. <laughs> There's a lot of fish here. I can even see little tiny bait fish following. makes it absolutely alive. Oh, big flock of geese coming over. Did you see them in the background? Beautiful morning. Forecast is 15 mile an hour winds gusting 20-24. So I've come up in the shelter, out of the way. I was going to try and do a little bit of wreck fishing today. And start spotting out my own wrecks out, out in the uh, Solent. But the forecast didn't look good for that. I can actually see bait fish jumping around my lure. <laughs> it's amazing. I'll change camera angles. get you a different camera angle. Try to give you a better angle so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. So all I'm doing is I'm casting up as close as I can up to the hot water out there and jigging a black pin over the And you can 
can actually watch the fish follow the lure sometimes. Got loads of bait fish down here. I can see them actually following the lure in like a shoal. Quite interesting fish. Really. Obviously the water temperature makes a mess. How the lure swims as well, how it fishes. I'm going to try a different lure. So this is quite an interesting lure. It's a surface lure and it's got ball bearings in it and I'm in two minds as to whether I should take one set of trebles off but what this does is it pops and jigs on the surface and I've got a funny feeling these are going to like that. I look like a smurf don't I? Pop a smurf. this a go, see what happens. I'm in, but I think he's going from the anchor line. <laughs> good sport on this light tackle. It is good fun. Where's he going? Can you watch? He won't be very big either. I don't know. Half a pound? Three quarters of a pound, I reckon? Oh no. No, this one's a better one. <laughs> this one's alright actually. I might even weigh this one just out of curiosity. <laughs> Probably not a keeper. But there he is, look. Absolutely inhaled that lure. But he's nicely hooked as well. So you always want the option to be able to release them. Look at that, he's absolutely bristling. <laughs> look at him, I'm going to give him a quick wave. I'm going to look after him but give him a quick wave. So I have got a sling so that I don't muck about and keep him out of the water too long. I'm going to weigh everything first and then I'll weigh the sling afterwards rather than you know put the sling on and zero it and keep the fish out of the water. Far off. I said half to three quarters. He's nearly two pound. One pound fourteen. One pound fourteen ounces. Little tiny weeny one. He's going to go back. One last quick show, and I'll get him back in. One pound fourteen. Little bass. I've got 
three rods in the water and I'm fishing. But the boat is swinging around all over the place. It's a little bit squally. The tide doesn't know what it wants to do. And I'm just about to watch a guy run his boat aground. Why is he over there? You might be able to tell by looking in the background that I'm starting to swing around a little bit. It just doesn't want to settle. I'll give it, give it half an hour or so, but this is ridiculous. Look, the boat's just spinning, literally spinning. My lines are going to get tangled. Oh well. Can't have it all, as they say. Just all got a bit squally out there. Couldn't sit at anchor, swinging the boat around, dragging the baits. Um, <laughs> a really <laughs> fisherman's story. So I'll give you a fisherman's story. It was dragging the lines around and the lines were crossing and I started to get tangles. And when the boat was slewing from side to side on the anchor line, they were coming together, you know, two lines out and then coming together, crossing over. Anyway, I recovered one of the lines, recovered the second line, and there's a massive slack line on the third. And I was reeling in, reeling in, reeling in, and then I thought I hooked bottom. I hadn't hooked bottom, I'd hooked fish. Or a fish had self-hooked itself. Um, I haven't got a net, I haven't got a landing net. So very gingerly, it felt heavy, it is cod season, and I had a whole squid on. So my instant reaction was, it wasn't a bass, it's a cod. So gently, gently, bring it up to the side of the boat, and it's big. Seven to 10 pound, hard to tell. Didn't get that close a look at it, but what I did see, it had big scales. I genuinely, genuinely believe, and I have heard stories that there are some, I think it was a saltwater mirror carp. I think I hooked a mirror carp on a whole squid at the top of Southampton water. Now there'll be people that will laugh at me, think I'm joking. I don't tell porkies, I'm only telling you what I thought. What I thought I saw was a mirror carp and I lost it at the side of the boat. Next thing I'm buying is a landing net. <laughs> Someone's alarm's going off on the boat. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh, it, it was only funny because it's an absolute heap. No one would want to nick it. 